welcome everybody to this tutorial on uh, how to create an object in Blender and then import it into Unreal Engine. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is open up Blender. Um, uh, I'll just check that I'm recording. Yep. And uh, so if you have any questions to do with this uh, sort of thing, you can leave them in the comments of this video. And so the first thing I'm going to do is open a general file, or you could go to the file up here and then do new and then click on general. Uh, I'm going to delete the camera here. I'm going to delete the light. So we've just got this cube here. And I'm going to go to the shading tab. I'm going to open up my color palette. I'm going to go to uh, my color palette here. And this image is my color palette that I use to colorize low poly objects uh, inside of Blender. So if you want to download this image, I'll, I'll leave a link to download this image in the description. And so you drag this PNG file down here. Uh, then you connect the color to the base color. And then you change linear to closest. Yeah, and that should be good, good to go. Uh, go to UV editing tab and resize this to uh, like so. So I'm going to resize this and then press the mouse button and drag it over a bit. Um, then I'm going to go to this menu here and then, then click on texture. And what that does is it displays the texture on the cube. And I'm going to press tab, press 3 to go into face selection mode and I'm going to click on the face, shift click on another face, shift click on another face and then shift click on another face. So these four faces are selected and I'm going to press I to inset. I'm going to press I again to inset uh, and I'm going to press Alt E to extrude. Uh, extrude faces along normals like so and I'm gonna bring this in a bit now this looks like a box sh shape and well now, well now what we're gonna do is select these four faces by shift clicking and then once we have these four faces selected go over to the color palette and then press A and then press S, and then press 0, and then press enter, and that brings it down to 0. Uh, then press G to move it over to the red, uh, the red uh, place, and you can see that these faces are now colored red. So what we're going to do now is press A, we're going to pr press shift, hold and shift and deselect these red faces. Right, so these faces are deselected. Um, then we go over here, we're going to press A, we're going to press S, then we're going to press 0, and then enter, and then press G and bring it over to the blue color. And now we've got a blue and red cube here. Uh, what we're gonna do now is do, uh, press tab, um, we're gonna do shift D to duplicate the object. And we're gonna go up here and then check the move box here and that enables the gizmo for, for us to move the object. And we're going to align it so that's 
so that's uh, lined up with this object. And we're also going to turn on snapping, so the way you do that is you go to this menu, you go to, I'm going to go to edge, uh, and I'm going to click on this magnet icon here. Uh, I'm going to dr start dragging this and use a snapping feature to snap it by hovering over the edge of, of this cube here, like so. And that snaps it to that edge of the cube. I'm going to use this one and snap it to this edge. And that looks like the cubes are perfectly aligned with each other. I'm just going to move this over a bit. And that should be good. I'm going to do Control S to save. Um, I'm going to name this as boxes. Uh, now I'm going to press A to select everything. I'm going to do Control J to join those two objects together. Uh, so I'm going to press A to select everything. Then I'm going to go to UV maps here. But make sure you've got the green triangle selected first. Uh, so Make sure you click on this green triangle first, and then, uh, or you're, you're in this menu first, and then go to UV maps here. And then create a new UV layer, UV layer and name it light map. Okay, so what we're going to do now is create the light map for these object, two objects. And we can do that by selecting light map here. Uh, make sure that's selected. Uh, light map is selected, and then do press A uh, because these are the two objects we want to generate the light map for. And then press Tab, uh, press A again to select all the faces, and then right click, and then do UV unwrap faces, and then click on the Smart UV Project. Uh, okay, it brings up now brings up these this menu. Uh, leave the angle limit as sixty six. Uh, then use zero point one as island margin. Uh, basically, the only value you want to play around with is the island margin to get uh, islands that are properly separated from each other. And you'll see what islands are in a minute. So make sure island margin. I recommend using a value of zero point one for most objects, and press OK. Now it brings up, now it's generated this white map here, and you can see that each, each one of these squares here is an island, and they're separated by a certain amount. So that's what the island margin means, how separated the islands are from each other. And yeah, that's what we got to do for the light map, and then go to select UV map again so we can see the colors. And do Control S to save. Now, all we need to do now is go up to File, uh, Export, and then do FBX. Uh, save it as boxes.fbx. And go to go to this menu here, scroll down and then click on geometry, open the geometry menu, and where it says smoothing, change that to face. And also check the box where it says tangent space. And click on export FBX. Okay, now it's been exported. We can close Blender uh, and click save. Now we can go over to Unreal Engine and find our model file. Uh, boxes.fbx, here it is. And drag the boxes.fbx file into Unreal Engine. 
Now it brings up this import menu and you want to make sure generate white map UVs is unchecked. Uh, you can also choose whether you want it to combine the meshes or not. So uh, yeah, I'm going to combine meshes and well, there's only one mesh to start with, so because the two objects are linked together, so there's only one mesh, so it doesn't really matter if I have combined meshes checked or unchecked. But you definitely want to change that depending on what you, what, what you uh, want, want. And that's about all we need to do, quick import. Now the boxes have been imported. Uh, okay, um, I just had to change it to the right material there. Um, now they've been imported and make, make sure if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. So I'm going to drag it into the engine. I'm going to accept. I'm going to align it properly. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to click save current and I'm going to click build. Now this is what build is going to do. It's going to generate the white map. Uh, it's going to generate the white lighting calculations and that's going to take about a minute. So. I'm going to wait until it's complete and then I'm going to uh, see, see what these two cubes look like after the lighting has been calculated. It's almost done calculating the lighting. Right. Now I can look like see see what it looks like in game. It it looks perfect. It looks there's no black artifacts. Uh which are called bleeding. Um there's no bleeding, there's no um the cubes look exactly how they should they don't look too dark so that's that's a great result that we got from this import into unreal engine i'll show you for a minute what uh what a bad import into unreal engine looks like uh over here so do you see there's two things you want to look out for there's uh dark objects are too dark when the this is specifically for low poly objects uh, using the color palette technique that we use to colorize the objects. And uh, so sometimes the ob if you imported it in the wrong way, you, you can end up with a uh, object that is too dark, uh, darker than it should be. This is what it looks, what it's supposed to look like. Uh, so sometimes you can get a dark object like this, or you can sometimes you can get a object that has dark shadows on it or artifacts, and that's not what you want either. You want an object that looks like this inside of Unreal Engine. That means that the light map is working correctly with Unreal Engine. Uh, for some complex objects, you might want to use a higher light map resolution. 
like this tree for example, this tree uses a higher light map resolution than the default value uses. And I'll show you in a minute how to change uh, the light map resolution. Uh, if you if you're getting any artifacts for for your objects using this method uh, to get rid of those artifacts, you can try doing this. This is a, this is only if you wanna if you've got gotten any artifacts uh, by using this method of importing objects into Unreal Engine. What you can do is to try and eliminate eliminate those is change the source light map here to one, and then you can change the light minimum light map resolution from sixty four to a higher value such as one hundred and twenty eight and click on apply changes and then scroll down a bit more uh, change the white map resolution here to 128 as well and press enter then press save and then do reimport base mesh plus LEDs and then exit out of that then all you gotta do is do save current and then click on build the lighting to build the lighting again and see what it looks like after you've changed the settings. Uh, okay, that's that's about it for this tutorial. I uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.